Good afternoon to Adoption UK and all agencies that are currently out there in the UK um, pushing for the drive for families to come together as forever families for children who are currently in the foster care system. Um, I've just got a couple of things here. Figures from the Adoption and Special Guardianship Leaderboard show that there are 4,140 youngsters across England where a decision has been made by the authority that they should be adopted. In comparison, there are about 1,700 families who have been approved to adopt and waiting to be matched, matched with a child. There are 2,760 children where a placement order has been made for adoption, but they have not yet been placed. These figures are from late 2018, and as we know, would have gone up and up and up and up, as we know over on forced adoption exposed, that many, many, many families are still waiting for their child to be removed from them or for their final um, goodbye contact. Now this message is for potential adopters. I am urging you to please, please, please speak with the families and ask them what is going on because what is happening in this system is state kidnap. Children are being unlawfully and unnecessarily removed by the police and social services and there is a failure in this system that is causing for babies to be taken from the breast, for children under five to be removed as quick as possible in order to move them as quick as possible. And then obviously there are plenty of children that are being held, held, detained in long term foster care. This system is flawed. Um, Grove and many other people have driven for adoption to be the first option. In 2013, the ex-president of um, the family division made it necessary that adoption should be the last resort. Now, historically, they have accepted that these forced adoptions were barbaric, abusive, but they do not accept that what is going on currently. There has been investigation, there has been inquiry into forced adoption in the UK, and everybody is okay with accepting that historically what was going on is wrong, but they are not willing to accept what is currently going on is wrong. I run a page called Forced Adoption Exposed. I am also a mother myself, where two of my children, Aaron and Faith, were kidnapped. They were unlawfully and unnecessarily detained from me. I have never ever been put into prison for significant harm to my child, but what I have been is gagged. So I cannot tell people that my two children, Aaron and Faith, were kidnapped by Flintshire County Council from Save the Family, where children were being taken like cherry picking and being placed with people who were looking for children. Now we have to ask a question, are children being taken for an adoption drive or is the adoption drive filling up to remove the children? There are so many sides of this, it's a branch of a tree as I have said on many of my lives for anybody who follows me over on Kelly Cotton, which is my own journey experience of dealing with the grief and trauma of the unlawful and unnecessary state kidnap of two of my children. Two of my older children remained with me and I have two children who live with me now. Um, the court system is flawed. Um, I do usually talk about parent alienation, denied contact and long-term foster care, but obviously for this particular matter, I'm talking about adoption. A child needs to be with their natural parents. Many people struggle. Many people come to a point where it's, they have a physical condition. They may need help because like myself, they go into hospital and they don't have the support systems around them because they're either from foster care or um, families are no longer here or families are in, in a different area. And then this system should be there to enable and support families. That's not happening. I just want to pull something up very, very, very quickly. Um, I should have had it ready really. Um, I would like for you to please, if you are a potential adopter, um, 
So please go onto YouTube and to search a program called Exposure. Don't take my child and listen. I'm just gonna have to go back because my sound is down. Just two seconds. Let me just go back. away by social workers from his mother. It is a forced adoption. This is footage the social workers never wanted you to see. Britain is the only country in Europe which commonly allows adoption without parental consent. Adoption is for good, and as soon as we can place a child in a loving home permanently, better for all concerned. The government's new Children and Families Act is likely to increase the number of cases. Those who've been social workers for a long time went into social work primarily to support families. The reality now is that they are almost exclusively involved in child protection. And removing uh, and children is, uh, a major unlawfully, unnecessary. An increasing number of mothers are so frightened they are fleeing abroad, helped by an unofficial network of supporters. Over in France, sir, they do not believe me when I tell them that they can take children. This is Ian Joseph. If you're an adopter, please Google Ian Joseph. It is now harder than ever for families which need help to stop their children being forcibly adopted. It's, it's a very, very worrying picture because it means that we're just going to continue on this trend um, towards permanent removal of children. This is a film about the heartbreak of losing a child and the added pain of the secrecy that surrounds it. I've already been sent. I really do. I really do miss him. And there are over on forced adoption exposed nearly 7,000 families. There are also um, a number over on um, faces of forced adoption. All of us families and parents are here. We are our children. Please someone tell me whether my signal is still going because it is just cut down. I need to know urgently whether you can still see me right now. Amber, can you urgently tell me, can you please see me or has this cut out? If somebody can please urgently, I'm just going to check my signal. Somebody can please urgently tell me if I am still currently running or whether my signal has kicked out. Urgently, <laughs> Amber. Can't see. Yeah, okay, uh, it's actually telling me here that my signal has completely kicked out, but apparently I am still here, which is no different than the families that have been uh, mm -hmm. abused by the system. The signal may have cut out, but the families are still here. And this is why it is so important for potential adopters to please understand that these children already have forever families. If you really, really, really want to help a family, then adopt the family. Help the family. Don't take their child, don't kidnap their child, because these children are going to one day want to find us and you will not have your forever family. There is no such thing as a forever family because all adoptive children eventually need to know the truth. If somebody does not want to have their child, then they will sit down with you and they will hand that child over to you and they will look forward to getting regular updates or they won't want anything to do with the child whatsoever. The majority of cases that I've had are families that have been torn to pieces in complete and utter devastation through the family courts. It has been a hiding to nowhere. People have been coerced into signing Section 47s. Parents that have been through foster care have had records from when they were three, four, five, six, seven, fifteen, brought back into their current situation. People have been failed to have the correct help that they should be legally entitled to have. As you heard, Gove. Everything was driven for adoption. 
if you go to any festival if you go to any conference it will all be about adoption it will all be about foster care but it is never about supporting the families there are people out there right now jumping out of planes climbing buildings doing fundraisers it is a mass drive this month to get more and more money into adoption so they can take them quicker harder and faster from fam vulnerable families who just needed somebody to talk to Sometimes all a mum or a father needs is just somewhere to just offload to, somewhere to get things off of their chest and then go, ah, okay, cool, and move on. We don't need genocide. You cannot take children from low-level families and place them with upper-class families and believe that you're going to create a different breeding. The DNA is the DNA. You cannot change the structure of a child's DNA. You cannot change the identity of the child. What you are doing is abusive. It's abusive to the child. It's abusive to the family. And it's actually abusive to you adopters too, because you are being deceived that there are all of these children waiting for adoption. No, there are all these children that are desperate to be returned to their families. And what this system needs to be doing is going, which of these children need to be returned? We need to get this system right. We need to be a supportive system. If you listen to Exposure Don't Take My Child, the judge himself said it. Social services started to help families to enable families now they have just become about child protection whether you have a disability whether you have a learning condition whether your child is potentially you know waiting for diagnosis and, and, and is being removed and they're coming in quicker harder and faster because they know you the adopter wants the baby you the adopter wants the toddler you the adopter doesn't want the older children Children are going into foster care to be sexually, physically, and emotionally abused. We, the families who have had children taken, must stand up together. We must come together. I ask you to drop this message into every adoption event that is going on on Crackbook, social media. And if you know of anyone, please, please, please get this message out to any potential adopters out there. There is a flaw in this system that is failing families and causing for children to be unlawfully and unnecessarily detained. Children are even being removed forcefully and cuffed. Children are being detained. Parents are not being arrested because they have not committed any crime. No crime, no punishment. If a parent has caused significant harm to their children, therefore they should be taken to the criminal courts and facing criminal proceedings. But this is not happening because these chip parents have not abused their children. They are being taken for possible future emotional harm and labeled with diagnosis such as depression. Majority of parents do end up with postnatal depression. They are being labeled with borderline personality, narcissistic traits because they may have been abused within the care system to take a child away is even more abusive but it's not just abusive to the families that you're doing it to to their mums nans granddads uncles aunts and more important the father and these fathers because the child is taken at birth aren't being put onto the birth certificate so you're failing your child to even be able to find their natural parents society is breaking down it's messed but what's going on is there's families like me and many thousands of others and historic and it's been going on for years and years and years and it is time to stop it it is very very important now that judges agents of adoption agencies and foster carers and social workers all put their hands up and say we know there is a problem in this system and we are no longer willing to be part of the problem we're here to be part of the solution the solution is halt this adoption drive suspend all current cases if you can connect and know that that parent is yes signed i agree to that adoption then let it go through if that parent says no i never agreed to this in the first place then there must be funding put in place to support this family because what happens is once a child is removed then they either lose their jobs or any supportive government support that they have then they are losing their homes and they are being kicked out onto the streets as what happened to me 
and many, 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 many others. If you genuinely, genuinely care and you want to help people, then come in and support these families. Foster care agencies need to stop. What we also know is there is a legal adoption agencies that are selling children, where adopters are actually coming in with a wad full of cash and particularly choosing a child. When you give birth naturally, you don't decide whether your child has blonde hair, blue eyes, whether it's brown eyes and brown hair. You don't get to go to a baby farm, because that's what it is, and go, oh, this one's really cute. When you carry and nurture your baby in your tummy, you're given what you're blessed with, whether that be a physical condition or anything, and it is your responsibility to look after that family. But sometimes parents need a little bit of help. And we don't have a system that helps. We have a system that hinders. Even families that do keep their children are living in fear and institution that their child may be removed. So please, 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 to all of the adoption agencies out there, there is a mass problem going on. The children's faces that you are putting up have a mother, have a father, have a nan, have a granddad, have uncles and aunts that are grieving and missing their children but the majority, like me, are gagged. That means they go to prison if they even tell somebody that their children have been kidnapped. And it is kidnap. If this wasn't kidnap, then why gag the families? Why make it so families cannot speak out? Because what they're doing is unlawful. What they're doing is state kidnap. And it's up to us to bring it an end. And if there is anyone from XR, from Yellow Jackets, from any of the campaign causes, we need help from you guys to take direct action to help us get this message out because the majority of parents are not warriors. Many of the parents are struggling with their grief. Many of the parents are struggling because they are alone and isolated. And it's because of networks like this that people can come together and realize that it's not just them this is happening to. I thought when I spoke out, I found that this was just going to be a one-off miscarriage of justice that I could fix. I believe that for a child to be taken, there must have been significant harm. But that isn't what is going on. Families are being failed and our children are being trafficked. They're sitting in foster care, ticking, ticking, money over. Money that could have supported the family. Money that could have been put into place to help the parents to help themselves. But that's not the system that we have. It's all about the adoption drive. So it's time to halt the adoption drive. I'm gonna go and make some calls in a minute and if they don't start banging this down, then it's up to us guys to get this in, get it over to the page, make sure that every potential adopter knows what's going on. The lesbian and gay community, they're probably not gonna care, but you still have to say to them, do you want a forever child? Do you want a child that isn't going to go searching for its parents? Or well, the fact is that us parents are here and we're not going away. I will never go away until I find Aaron and Faith. I will never go away until I've sued this system for the kidnap of my two, two children. And if the adopters are watching, Aaron and Faith, who were kidnapped from Save the Family, who were taken from me, have four brothers and sisters well, four brothers, you have my only daughter and they will be coming home to me. And you have laid for my daughter to be going off alone and coming back and cutting her hair and changing into a boy. There isn't one person that I've spoken to who doesn't understand what that means. Adopters do abuse children. Foster carers do abuse children. Parents do abuse children. No child deserves to be abused. And to remove a child unlawfully and unnecessary from their birth family is abusive. So please, I urge you to go and Google on YouTube, exposure, don't take my child, understand how this system is going so wrong and step back from the child. If you want to help and help find the families, help reunite the families or Bring the family in and say, look, I'm willing to support this young mum with her child. I'm willing to support this family. I'm willing to help this family with whatever they need to make sure that they have got a good chance. 
sometimes life doesn't always work out the way that people need but it doesn't give people the right to take children away and it certainly doesn't give them a right to be making money out of adopting children and it doesn't give them the right to be victimizing persecuting and harmfully degrading these families so my name is Kelly Cotton two of my children Aaron and Faith were taken unlawfully and unnecessary for adoption and they were adopted illegally forced adopted and I will never go away and I will keep coming back and I will keep speaking out and my book will be coming out and so will the forced adoption exposed book this week halt your adoption drive help families be returned help families reunite so please guys if you're from forced adoption exposed let's help get this message out and to adopters out there please meet the parents if they want you to adopt the child they will if they don't step back and let them fight like fight in court because these courts are failing us and they're failing our children and they're also failing you so please hold your adoption drive we are forced adoption exposed